Um, oops. Uh, my name is Steve, and I'm currently doing this live coding. Um, uh, as I'm working on this project, not well, not project. It's, it's for work. It's for this like research project. Um, slash working with the professor that I'm doing. Um, I decided to make this. Uh, well, first to test out how this whole like having a little screen, but also doing screen recording at the same time works. But um, but also to see if this helps me to focus better and can work more efficiently. Um, it's almost like an accountability sake. So, yeah. Um, so right now. Uh, what I'm working on is this H5P uh, editor. editor. Um, basically, the professor that I'm working with at the university uh, would like me to create uh, some sort of script to generate this file file format called five, I mean, H5P. And basically, uh, what it is, it's, it's like an interactive thing that allows like interactive, like like this, like oh, you get like one point because you just yeah. But for basically, it's for like educational purposes. He would like to put this on um, like Canvas or any like his like own website, so the students can like try out different things, um, answer questions. Um, specifically for uh, his purpose, um, he wants to make uh, H5P file that can uh, answer questions in multiple choice formats, where it's like a video and it, you, the student watches it and that's, at certain points it gives you uh, like a multiple choice problem and you need to get it right to go into like the next part of the video and just continue on and right now I'm trying to build a script that allows um, him to generate this file from videos and a specified input text file um, I would have to look more into the spec um, that he sent out to build this, so we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna pull up my email on the this main screen just in case there's anything confidential. Um, but where did it go? Oh no, he texted to me. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he also would like to have this on Colab, like Google Colab, which is essentially a Jupyter notebook, but it lives on Colab hosting service. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's build this. So first I need, I, well, first of all, um, I don't know anything about the H5P format. Um, so I need to figure this out. I'm looking at this like Zoom call because right now I'm doing this like a stream with uh, my life group, which is like a, a, a church community group that I'm part of. And I'm just kind of hosting this like five, 12 to like five work and study session. Um, so no one's like kind of lonely and I'm not lonely <laughs> and get some work done. Uh, so this, I'm going to kind of check back and forth out, out of habit. Um, so please excuse me on that. And this is my <laughs> work from home morning focus playlist. But I, yeah, I'll be kind of listening to it back and forth as I'm working on this. Let me play this. So 
So, um, gosh, I don't, it's kind of distracting. Anyway, <laughs> I won't be edit editing this just to kind of show like how like a real workflow looks, looks like. Um, and I don't seem like I'm some sort of like magic code genius person who can code up things so quickly because I can't. And not that many pro programmers, programmers can realistically. So anyway, uh, here I have created my Git repository. Um, H5P generator. Yeah. There's nothing there. And the second directory here is an example that I think what I'm supposed to create, but I don't think it's true. So, hmm. Yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is look at what format this is. So here's a dot h5p spec, and I read up, I read this up ahead a little bit, and basically what it is is a it's a zip file. But the extension extension is just h5p. Uh, okay, I just realized my face doesn't show when I uh, do this. So maybe I can try this. Nice. Um, I, I mean, I don't know why you want to see my face, but anyway, um, here's the h5p spec. <laughs> um, and I'm guessing, or well, not guessing, it literally says it is a file with a specific tree structure. Um, and it says to look at file structure page. So I'm gonna open that tab so I can look at it. Mm. And package definition. So, I'm, so it seems like there's a specific structure, but also package folders that I'm assuming needs to hold like contents of this video format, like questions or answers to the questions and like the actual videos it's, itself. Um, and optional content structure. Optional means I'm not going to look at it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Well, actually, no. Uh, con Content.json. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah, okay. Lastly, there will be a variety of code libraries. Oh. Cool. Uh, code style. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm? I don't get why they're giving us this. Oh, I guess this is just like embedding. H5P library from string. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, okay. Package definition. Nope. File structure. <coughs> Cause that was step two. Um, so file structure, oh, sorry, I'm, I have my hand in my pocket. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, H5P spec file structure. Oh no, I'm already tired. <laughs> See, this is good. In this part of the spec, we'll be looking at the file structure beginning. Packages, yes, this is perfect. A tree structure of the H5P has <laughs> package designed to enable H5P's extension, ext extensive reuse of code. Huh. Should look like fulfilling the blanks task. Hmm. Okay. 
package definition. Um, what? Main library. Excuse me. Uh, uh what? <laughs> oh, okay. Properties that can use be in optional metadata library dependencies. <clears throat> Language, preload dependencies, embedded types, optional properties. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. The thing is, it doesn't really go in depth. Package definition, library definition. What is this? Um, <laughs> yeah, this is real life coding. In case you wondered how people code. Um, yeah, we don't have that crazy green screen coding. Hold on. Um, hacker dot com hacker typer like we don't we don't we don't do this it's not, it's not how we go <laughs> um anyway uh i'm so confused this is normal, it's okay. <sighs> okay, um, there was this one video that I found. I sort of showed how to do it or a way to explore a file structure. Um, Let's see. Was this it? Oh, that's not on here. <clears throat> I'm not really centered, am I? Okay. Cool. Um, I took a screenshot on my iPad, I think, of this one video that would hopefully help with Yes, um, how to host H5P content on your own. So, oops. How to host H5P content on your own. Mm -hmm. And yep, that was the video. And I highly doubt the audio is going to play so please excuse me da, 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 da. yes yes yep that's what i needed okay uh there's another another link that the professor sent me, <clears throat> which I'm going to also open. Mm. Where did the email go? Mm -hmm. I need to find ways to organize my email. Ah, yes. Copy. Hopefully this piece. Uh huh. Nice. 
<laughs> well, I was doing a song cover this morning. <laughs> ah, yes, this is it. So this is an example that he created with the video that he found. <clears throat> What I need to do is download this thing. Yeah, how do you wait? What? Okay. Uh, can I download this? Ah, yes. <clears throat> Perfect. I get to analyze this now. Cool. Um, okay. Well. Zip. Yes, please. Open it up. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Yikes. <laughs> oh no, what is this? <laughs> uh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, content. That's good. Okay, sublime. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, please don't judge me. Oh, this is other work stuff. Uh, sublime JSON. Pretty? Pretty? They, people usually call it like pretty fi, pretty, pretty JSON packages. Basically it takes like a whole line of uh, JSON into, yeah, pretty way like this. JSON. Well, how do I install it? Ah, oh, installation. Get clone. Nope. Package control? Why? Oh, package control, yes. That's what I want to do. Package con pretty JSON. What? Package control. Why is it searching through this? That's weird. Okay. Um. Pretty. Dot JSON. Pretty. Pretty. How do I install things in Sublime? Mm. Oh, this is hard. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do package installation. <laughs> ah, okay. Huh? Yeah, well, I have it, I think. Command shift P. Ah, oh, dang it. 
Ah, yes, please. <clears throat> that was the wrong thing. Pretty. Nope. JSON? Do I not? Well, I definitely have this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, wrong side. I usually have this like open like this. I go like back and forth. So it's like a habit. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> and hopefully, if you're watching this, um, you could also code with me at the same time as like a motivator. Um, okay, oh, I know why I'm checking this. It's because Zoom call shuts down automatically in 40 minutes if no one else joins your call. So, yeah. I'm sure there's a setting to change that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Did it work? Oh, let's go. Found it. Uh, how do I use it? <laughs> uh, okay. Pretty JSON. How do I expand it? Um, usage. Oh, control alt. Con command, oh my goodness, command, control J, command, control J, oh my goodness, hold up, oh that's, that's awesome, how do I, uh, reverse it, oh wow, there's so many commands, control shift P, control, validates, this is, Correct. I believe it is. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was pretty sweet. By the way, I am definitely talking differently than usual. This is not, not how I talk all the time. I sound way too enthusiastic. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely more aware of myself right now because of this camera thing but it's just good I am doing more work than usual more efficient um, compress oh interesting control alt M minimizes it so this control F J P nope <laughs> control shift control shift Control. Huh? I have no idea. Oh, you know what? Nope, that's not the command. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, come on, now I can't actually, oh, no, it's, uh, uh, come in, yes, anyway. Wow, that's a lot of data content. Mm, so it's video type with start screen. Source language. The video. Oh, so this is video source. Interesting. Wait, but the actual video isn't in here. <clears throat> Actually, I guess I could put it in here. 
Uh, let's see. Okay. Asset. Yeah, single choice set. Are these libraries? I assume. Simple. Yep. Seems like it. Library says five H five P. A single choice set at one point. Yep. It is definitely these. This stuff is definitely library things. Yep. H five P. H five P. And I assume <clears throat> these multiple choice, like, like these packages, require different library, lib library stuff. Um, maybe. Well, I'm I'm asking that because uh. Hmm. So what I'm thinking of doing right now with building this script that generates h5p file from videos and input file is I have to create some sort of script that can generate like this stuff <clears throat> but I don't think I need to do that um, as long as hmm I guess it wouldn't be just a single script. I would also need to already have these <clears throat> files in it. Um, uh, mic check, one, two. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, <clears throat> unintentional ASMR. Oh. Hi. Uh, my apologies. Um, I I touched something on the computer on this side. I think the HTML got disconnected. Um, so I guess I kind of have to edit this just to put it together. So there's video right here that I just recorded it, and then this is the part that I cut off. So anyway, uh, I was describing my notebook to just draw out my thought. Yeah, um, so I could build the script where I can check the script. Mm. Can have like required library packages list. But I think the JSON file already has a way to keep track of the library. Yeah, I, I think so. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> we can't read it, but boom, we can read it now. Uh, <laughs> H5 track not. Machine name, machine name. Preloaded dependencies. I, I just don't see why we need this part. But I'm sure you need it. Or maybe they just coded lazily and just didn't get rid of this by default. Um, but yeah, so major version, minor version. So one mean the first first digit means the major version, minor version. <clears throat> well, the question is 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 this? Ba -ba 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 in the heck is drop embedded what huh <clears throat> oh wait is this actually no that makes sense oh no yeah the player is way too big oh yikes yeah so I just understood and realized that H5P is a 
file format that also has a video player embedded within itself. Yeah, I want to kind of look into how this will be deployed. Um, where's that magic video? Okay. So you do this. You go. You download it. Okay, I mean, hmm. So what this person is doing is I'm um, just taking a video and just uploading it <clears throat> to their own server because usually what 5hp.org does is you can create your content on the website and host it on the website and just you take the link and you post it like a like a YouTube link but what this person is trying to do is download the actual 5HP fi H5P file and then take that <clears throat> file and then put it directly into a website. So what they're using is H5P standalone. <clears throat> and what it does uh, is, well, it's just a web server. And it's like a website where you can host different things. In this case, H5P content. Uh, okay, maybe I'm just overthinking this. I should maybe draw this out. Ooh. I got a text from my girlfriend. <laughs> Hello. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sorry, where was that? Oh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is draw some sort of... Excuse me for the volume changes. Uh, okay, if you think I'm like kind of <clears throat> crazy for talking to myself, I'm kind of used to it, uh, mainly because I'm an only child, and yeah, this is this is normal <laughs> for only children. Maybe not for everyone, but for me. Also, maybe because of the COVID, <laughs> the pandemic that's happening. So, um, anyway, I need to draw, draw, draw a diagram. Mm -hmm. mm. So, the script will simply take vids and .txt file and outputs dot h5p but h5p has lots of stuff like library video text etc and since this will be a static <clears throat> static format meaning it will only be multiple choice so the libraries should stay the same. So this actually could be a part of the script or oh, this little box. Sorry. Uh, oh no. Okay. That's what I have. So that's the little, that's the videos, text files, this little the, the middle blob is like a the collab like a Jupyter notebook where the script and the library like files live and then the output it is dot h5p file where libraries and videos and text files <coughs> are I guess in a way just like reorganized reorg that's all I think that's all it is honestly um, yeah. But now the question is, hmm. Just to practice thinking out loud. Um, 
Man. Okay. <laughs> Let me think. Mm. Where's my hat? I want my hat, actually. Let me go grab my hat. at home whenever I work usually uh, because it makes me feel like I'm outside and I can focus better um, yeah uh, one of the ways to do work from home but Oh yeah, so the thing I was think, uh, I guess, thinking about was this video that he sent. It's a single video, I assume. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a single video about like SVD. It's a YouTube video. And I think in the spec he mentioned like having a list of videos and be able to Oh, 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 maybe he wanted to create. Oh, I just misunderstood it. I think what he meant was, so what I understood in the beginning was uh, from what, what he said about having multiple videos in a single text file and generate like a single dot h5p file meant you use he wants to stitch different videos but i don't think that's what it meant i think he what he meant was more like he wants to mass generate these like videos like contents all at once using multiple text files and multiple video files so this means that the text files meaning that has like all the questions and things for the questions meaning like these things Oops. Oh yeah, the, these the, that defines like these things like right answers. Um, oh, got it right. <laughs> um, also requires like a timestamp where these are supposed to be at. Maybe I should um. Yeah. Uh, let's see. These are. Just the player content stuff. Content, content, content should have mm, correct, incorrect, wrong answer your results. So that defines a summary, multiple choice. <clears throat> what I could do is search single value or SVD single value decomposition stand for oh okay perfect <laughs> this is it wait this project might be pretty easy <laughs> okay um 
<clears throat> Sub content ID. I'm just looking for a timestamp right now. With height duration. So these are just defining the little box, I think. The action library. Single choice set. Hmm. 46.85 I wonder if that is the if that is the this timestamp thing but I don't know what that means 46 is that percentage overall feedback 0 to 100 what is that in milliseconds or what is it let's see oh well I'm gonna see if that's 85 to 95. I'm just checking to see what the difference is between the time is. So this is question two, I think. This is question. Whoops. How many questions are there? Oh, there's only two. Maybe. Was there three? If it's two, this assumption. Yeah, there's only two questions. I just want to know if <clears throat> 47. Oh. So this. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Let me try. Sure. Okay. Ow, my foot. <laughs> 51, 52, 56. What's 56? I just hmm okay minute <clears throat> 26 minute 26 60 seconds plus 25 26 seconds yep so these are timestamps I don't get why it's called duration. Because clearly. Oh. 96 seconds. Ah, okay. So there's a window of where the this question thing like appears. Yep. Well, it said I couldn't I guess it doesn't prevent you from going ahead on the video technically. OEA transfer. Oh, yes, fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I got a text again. Uh, not the word. Yeah, but um,
uh, 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 I'm gonna cut that part out. <clears throat> Someone joined the Zoom call, so nice. Um, yeah, I just checked to see if. So someone just joined Zoom call, so more motivation to do more work, more efficiently, hopefully. Um, anyway, uh, this is a breakthrough. <laughs> I have cracked the cracked the secret <laughs> to <laughs> H5P. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think how this is the best way to do it. Um. Okay, so I, in a way I have to generate this JSON file and yeah, okay, I think I understand the content, drop, I guess I need it, um, embedded, also need it, but this is just the library editor drag questions interactive video radio group and jQuery's also wait what oh okay so UI side of it shepherd okay the ones with like dot something it's probably all like no it is definitely just Content. I mean the the library. I don't need H5P JSON. This I'm not sure what this is. Um, oh, okay. So this defines like the title, language, main library, 5HP I interactive. Mm, this thing. Excuse me. Um, Preloaded dependencies. I assume um, H5P, like a player, like a plugin, it takes this and uh, somehow optimizes it, maybe. Um, yeah, not sure. Why? Oh, it's because I pretty fight it. <clears throat> Okay, so far, I think all we need to do, I hope, is just modify the content thing, I hope. Because that'll be very easy. So to test this, oh, and also the .json file. Yeah, I hope that is true. I really hope that's true. <laughs> um, the I, I wonder if this video file can be directed from the local folder, like within this folder. So now that we figured out this, what we're working with and what we should modify and change, uh, what we can do now is, or what we need to do now is to start setting up like a developing space where we can start testing this, you know, like one thing I didn't really understand in college, like at the university was some students like, okay, no flame, but they, they, they blind code, meaning they code, but they never test it as they go. So they, they test it at the very end. And for the, I mean, Hey guys, like, I know <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, my friends, <laughs> my, my loving brothers and sisters, um, Please, I'm not flaming you. Uh, I just, I just think it's a better practice um, to test as you go. But wouldn't it be nice to kind of see like what you, little change you made also. Uh, anyway, everyone has a preference, and if certain weights work better for you, that's fine too. You know, like the way I do it has a downside too, where I'm in a way kind of slow because I take my time to kind of set things up. But yeah, 
So it's pros and cons for everything. So anyway, uh, this is Kit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm gonna figure out a way to test it and back to this video magic video again this lady shows how to run this server. Tuna Panda, H5P standalone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, oops. When I do this, yep. Tuna Panda. H5P stand alone. Yes. Server free H5P content. Yes, please. downloading okay how do I install this mm. I'll put this all the way over here uh, oh uh, mm. yarn do I have yarn <coughs> I don't think I do. Five P standalone Tarn yarn. Dang it. <laughs> how to install. How to no not how to send how to install yarn. NPM. You install yarn through LP and what? Mm. Let's see, offline mode, fast. NPM. No way, okay. NPM, I uh, yarn. Oh, I already had this. I don't know why I need to do this again. I guess I didn't have it. Oh, nice. Zero vulnerabilities. Cold beans. <clears throat> Yarn add H. Five piece. What? Why aren't you working? Oh. Yarn at H five P standalone. Hmm. So when I install yarn, why so many errors? Ignore. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why? Why aren't you working? Huh? Wait, yup. Yeah. Let's go NPM yarn. Oh, the struggles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
don't install. Um, I'm confused. Where's yarn? Cool ball. Uh, yarn. Come on. No! Oh, why aren't you working? Am I? Am I trolling? <laughs> Are you trolling? What's going on? Yarn. <laughs> Yarn doesn't show up after install. <laughs> I'm probably just missing a really dumb thing. I need the yarn, not install packages. No, not yarn install. Um, how to install yarn using npm mac. Oh man, I'm so tired. <sighs> mac was, yes, stable. Brew. Oh my goodness. I have brew. Yes, please. And I think the brew install does it like globally. Hold on. Funny story. Um, guy who created brew, homebrew, which is one of the most widely used um, package manager, was rejected from Google because uh, I guess the the way homebrew is built is kind of like really jank and really inefficient. Essentially, it's it just has like a list of, what do you call it? Like download links, basically, and then it just downloads the file to the computer and that's it. And long story short, it's a funny story because the guy who made the this like script brew homebrew that even like the googlers use all the time was rejected because you know he didn't i guess like what it takes to be a good engineer doesn't mean like you build something cool but maybe they just have different standard i don't know um but excellence and you know like the standard when it comes to Oh, is this person good or good for this job? Maybe it depends a lot on like the context or circumstances. But anyway, um, there was a, there was there was this like article, like a video of like someone telling telling people the story, and in the comment section, people are like, "Why didn't they like hire this guy?" But anyway, I thought it was kind of ridiculous. I was like, "Oh, what?" But at the same time, um, I think it's kind of true because, like, do you see it? Like, <laughs> I, th I think this is just going, like, brute forcing into different places to find where H the yarn is. But basically, it's, like, struggling. It's doing this, like, depth first search, almost. Yeah, anyway. 
Well, I do gotta say, homebrew is nice, but it's so slow, so inefficient compared to like pip and like other stuff. Maybe you can agree or disagree, but <clears throat> come on. I could build a, I could make lunch while this is happening. <laughs> I'm actually kind of hungry, so I might do that. Permission to not. Ah! Come on. Did it work? Wait, okay. The cereal. Please. I just want to run. Oh, yes! Please. 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 Ah! Uh. Um, why is this such a struggle? Huh? Okay, so it's it's installed. Thank goodness. I get to do this now, if it works. Okay, I need this person again. Hi. So go into the H5P standalone whip pack yarn distro Oh Python Python Yes Oh darn it Nope. Pip three install. Dang it. Okay. Hi. How do I add it? Hmm. Well, how do I install it? Of course it doesn't tell me. Mm. 
Mm. Yes. Tip. Install. Simple dash dash. Please. Yes, thank you. See, pip is like so nice. So fast. Okay. Now, Python. Boop. HTTP. Yep. Oops. <laughs> Simple HTTP server. Simple HTTP. Python three. Maybe. Darn it! <laughs> Why aren't you working? Oh, I definitely installed it. Oh, the package is called... Maybe that's why? Nope. Python three. Oh, ah, darn it. Uh, back. Sorry, I was eating and didn't want to make any noise and look kind of gross. So, also, I figured out how to do the server thing. <sighs> Basically, the issue was that in Python two, the Python that's like less than three. Um, <clears throat> the simple HTTP server works, but this isn't. Well, I have two point, well, I have three point something, but if I do this, it works. Wow, hooray. But Python 3, you do HTTP dot server, and that should work. Anyway, um, so we are at zero, 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 eight thousand, you know, eighty, eighty, and there's nothing. <laughs> hmm. HTTP, HTTP slash slash. Or nope. Interesting. Oh, worked. Kind of. Where's the HTML file? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Test. Ah, maybe this is what it is. Oh my goodness. Hooray! Multiple HTML. Wow, it works. <clears throat> uh, I am not satisfied. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? 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 I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Um, vendor, vendor, fonts. Oh, I guess like this is like a plugin that would be on a website that you'll be hosting this. But um, I was kind of hoping to see this thing. Where does she find index.html? Huh? Did I download the wrong file? <clears throat> yeah, I don't see demo in here, do I? Yeah, what the heck? Did this person get rid of it? Well, that's kind of sad. Gulp file. Gulp file? Nope. Yeah, it's gone. Or... Mm. 2017? Wait, what in the world? <sighs> yeah, I guess the person um <clears throat> updated it, but that's that's okay because we got this commit. Meaning we get to see the code. <clears throat> Yep, there's the demo, but honestly, I don't need this, given what I just got. Um, so I, well, for now, I just close up. Of all the little stuff, I need that, don't need that, maybe need that. What is this? Oh, uh, maybe? <clears throat> Repository. That's the server that's not running. That's the server that is running. I don't know why. Oh, it's 8,000. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> so it's running. And test. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Okay. So if, <clears throat> if I were to put this thing, what we call workplace and change, oh, workspace, <clears throat> put, put zero, no, no. Do that, and then oh. mm -hmm. what? Where'd it go? Oh, I put <laughs> underscore in the beginning also. Hmm? Oh, no, 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 don't replace it. This go in there, and hopefully, <clears throat> when we do the single.html, the video shows. Oh, let's go! Yeah, we can test it now, and then come on, let's go. Single value decomposition. Now it's really slow most likely it's because i'm hosting it on my laptop and my laptop is dying <laughs> <clears throat> wow it worked well in a way um yeah honestly this is a good place to stop for today <laughs> and we'll continue maybe tomorrow or someday yeah but this is like one 
component of like 10 different, 100 different components or steps that programmers usually go through on daily basis. So yeah, thanks for watching if you watched this long. <laughs> and please subscribe and press that like button if you wish. No, you don't have to, it's fine. Anyway, thank you. Mm-hmm.